Anywho, what's going on everyone? Uh, I guess this is my turn to stand up and introduce myself. My name is Divad and I'm an alcoholic. Even though I was a daily alcoholic, uh, what I mean by that is I was getting drunk every day. Piss drunk, every night. No recollection for years to come. And God is my witness. That's an expression, I'm an atheist, but uh, that's an expression that I hope uh, is, uh, uh, I guess, expressing <laughs> how serious this is. God is my witness that I wasted a lot of my life drinking. I spent a lot of time shaming myself, hurting myself, shaming and hurting my loved ones. And thankfully I never really lost control. I didn't lose no job over it, even though I was close to it. Um, I never got seriously injured. I never injured or harmed anyone else, but I can feel the time coming. I was losing control. It was eating my, my body, my mind, and my soul. It destroyed my relationship. It destroyed my patience. It destroyed my intelligence. I truly felt that in six, seven years of absolutely getting wasted, my excuse, always making excuses for it, whether oh, it's to be able to enjoy a, enjoy a social event, uh, special occasions, or oh, I, I, I won't be able to fall asleep unless if I feel it, you know? The six, seven years of just consuming alcohol like crazy, crazy, I half felt myself I can feel it you know where my speech is slightly impaired my thought process is slightly uh, impaired and uh, my memory is slightly impaired so I said enough is enough and in 2017 December 31st after uh, spending a lovely night and New Year's Eve in Pomona, California, uh, enjoying a beautiful concert. Chicano Batman, Hani Al Khatib, and the Commons, now known as, uh, I believe, Tropa Magica. I. Uh, I told myself, I gave myself a bunch of New Year's uh, goals and resolutions. Well, goals. I don't like calling them resolutions. And, you know, the one that I thought that I was going to have the hardest problem with turned out to be the easiest one by far. It wasn't even a struggle. So, I suppose my heart and my mind were, were uh, once again uh, in sync, in tune. And I did it, guys. I did it really easy. You know, and I... I don't think I'm ever going back. I'm pretty sure I'm never going back. Uh, for any reason. Really. There's no need to. Any excuse. Any reason, I, I should say. That I feel like justifies one beer one mixed drink one whatever it's an excuse because you don't need a drink to socialize right imagine someone saying ah oh, come on it's a party well yeah i can have fun and i can i can have just as much fun and entertainment and feel the love without alcohol you know i don't need no more escapes from reality you know i I truly feel like this is it, guys, and uh, I'll return. Okay, I'll come. I'll come back with uh, my last little final thoughts on my first AA meeting ever, my unofficial AA meeting ever. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and 
I'll be right back. Just gotta turn in this cable box. No more cable for me. And we're back. Simple drop off. Anyways, um, so what inspired my sobriety, which has been a year and four months now? Well, other than my own destruction and of myself and <laughs> look at that guy. Um, ah, man, that guy made me lose my trace of thought. All right, people, this is how you properly do it. You stop before you hit the sidewalk, you roll forward, then you go. Again, um, what inspired me to uh, inspire my sobriety and my uh, clear conscience was just the destruction of myself and my relationship. Uh, as my lady also drank way too much for her own good, still does, but as long as one of us doesn't do it anymore, it has helped our relationship much more, you know. Um, <clears throat> also, the one thing that truly did it for me was have someone that goes beyond just a brother I have a twin who struggled with it uh, way worse than I did you know became a problem socially like I said a sloppy drunk embarrassed himself many times became a danger to his surroundings uh, as I witnessed him pull out knives and so on it just became very threatening uh, destroyed his own relationship you know um, destroyed his good paying jobs lost the same job twice after the game a uh, chance to come back lost it twice for the same reason and after that they were like dude you got issues you know and I felt for him you know I see he had to go back to a minimum wage job and it's one of those jobs where you don't go from that kind of pay job to a minimum wage job without being affected with depression and anxiety you know and all that flared up and after many, many years of watching him struggle much more than I did, <clears throat> he finally got help. Started going to AA meetings, and I see how it totally changed him. You know, it totally cleared him up. It, he would tell me stories about a couple guys he met that were always willing to lend out a helping hand. You know, all you had to do was send him a, shoot him a text or a call, and him know you're not feeling well. You know, you might uh, <laughs> relapse. And they were there for you, you know, hey, let's go get some coffee first thing tomorrow morning, you know, and all that. And the love and the uh, camaraderie was just so inspiring that I said, even though I don't have that and I don't feel like I need it because I'm starting to realize this is all bullshit and I'm strong enough <clears throat> and have the courage to let it go all on my own. It was inspiring. It was really inspiring. And... You know, and I felt that love, guys. I really did. And I got my shit together. Like I said, my lady was planning to join me on this adventure. She couldn't do it. But I'm always rooting for her, right? You never give up on people with uh, substance abuse problems. Because once you let them go and they're on their own, that's it. And especially that we have uh, a kid together. And also uh, my twin who absolutely put the nail in the coffin to this goal you know as in like let's push it forward you know he signed off on it you know um he unfortunately has uh gone back to drinking it seems like he's drinking it a little more controlled uh, i believe that he's hiding much more than what he shows or tells right i can tell when he's drinking i can tell you know i i can just tell so i know that he's back on it but so far it's been several months and you know, so good, you know, and I, I guess the, the positive way to see this, you know, it's not for me to go and tell him like, hey man, you're drinking again, you know. Uh, at one point I was planning on letting him know, like, if you ever fuck up again, where you go to jail again or whatever it might be because of alcohol, you cannot see my daughter, you cannot see your niece until you show proof that you're going back to AA, until you show, well, until I can tell, because who knows you better than yourself, me you know not our parents not no one else other than myself your twin um you cannot see them until i know that you're clear again you know your, your mind is cleared again so you know that's 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 where i was willing to push it in hopes that it, it kind of helps him 
uh, get his shit together. But um, I decided not to be so much of a uh, ultimatum, you know. So I let him know that, hey, look, if you feel like you got to drink and if that's something you can't escape, do it. But understand that you're your own man and you have children looking after you. They look up to you, you know, and as long as you know that you're in control now and that you're not losing it, you know, you're spiraling out of control once you, uh, you hit that downward spiral with uh, just the thought of alcohol and you're in control, then you're okay, man. You know, it's baby steps, you know, if that's what it has to be where I have to uh, compromise a little bit. You know, okay, man, you know, if you really have to, man, go ahead and have it, but control it, man, control it. You know, and so far it seems like it's helping out a lot. So I'm doing my best to try to communicate this out there to anyone who cares to listen about these type of issues, but mostly I'm just venting out for myself. I feel like these vlogs are most like my personal journal, you know, my personal digital diary, my vlogging moto vlogging once I'm on a motorcycle but hey if it helps anyone that's cool if you can relate that's cool uh, hit me up guys uh, any anything to uh, help someone in need of uh, help you know because you don't if someone really needs help and is in need of real help then you as the bystander have no reason to not help you know especially if it doesn't cost you a damn thing and usually it actually doesn't so think about that guys uh, I'm Elephant in the Room, uh, you can call me Divod if you care to actually ever come back. And that's it folks, uh, I'm gonna go enjoy a lovely 5 mile walk with my daughter, cook breakfast for the family and that's it. See you later guys.